Hello, Bloodbaths and Brood Brothers. My name is TV Skyne, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV, where uh, it seems we're drawing close to the final confrontation with uh, Dianilhog. And for that purpose, I have been told I should probably assemble myself a full party before I accept the quest. Not sure why. I have to assume it's because of, of there's uh, something what happens. So I'm just going to right click on some people and invite them to the party. Yeah. Cool. And I hope I can count on their help with the whatever it is I need their help with. I pray we're not too late. Emmerich is desperate to fly to Ishgard's defense. Yeah. Ishgard will not long last against Nilhok and his horde. We must away. Hey, buddy. Can we trouble you for a ride? Know you, then, what this roar portenteth? I... I must return to my city without delay. Then we shall lend you our wings. Let us meet with Nilhawk on the field of battle, and together bring an end to his wrathful song. The squad! I get the limo. Chesvelga, <laughs> the stretch limo of dragon rides. Hey, Jane, put a Wilhelm scream on the poor guy who got thrown off the bridge. <laughs> Remember your training. We hold fast until the Lord Commander returns. It's weird that they defend a bridge against an enemy that can fly. <laughs> I mean, I guess the wards are back up. I guess that's what they're doing.
hands. By the fury. That one is the size of Nidhogg. Exactly the size, actually. I arrived precisely when I meant to. Dragons will probably be talking. Wherefore standest thou with these vermin, brother? Abandon this war, Shade. The suffering thou sowest serveth no end. The traitor's progeny have learned of their forefathers' betrayal, and seek now to make amends with our kind. Never shall our grief be assuaged, nor our loss forgotten, but reconciliation may yet halt the spread of this plague of enmity. Forsake thy vengeance and be at peace. That sounds like no. What soft-headed ramblings are these? Thy dalliance with that vile maid hath robbed thee of thy wits. Mayhap her cloying perfume had made thee forget the stench of our brood sister's lifeblood. Oh, good, he's an incel. Thou darest speak thus of my beloved. Ah, so the flames of rage may yet be kindled. I feared thy heart's fire had long since gone out. But waste not thy fury on words, brother. Thou shalt have need of it for the battle. Motherfucker has force powers.
Yeah, it'd help, but it's a cutscene. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't do anything in cutscenes. A slithering worm who fawneth on the vermin, who should rightly be his prey. For a thousand years I have fought without cease, and thou didst think to prevail against me. Glory not in thy victory, Shade. The battle is not yet won. My power and my hope have I entrusted to another. Thine eye! What hast thou done? Trust a mortal with thy strength. Hey, Nilhug, not for nothing, but so did you. I know thee. It was thou that didst improve of truth upon my lair and best the half of me. But now I am whole. And not in creation shall deny me my vengeance. That's what I needed the party for. Ah, I don't want to. I don't want to leave. I'm listening to Dragon Song, ah, but I have to. Minimum eye level, good. This friend of hope by treachery was broke, scattering the words to the wind. Everyone seems ready. I'll just let that get away from my screen, though. Is my grid on? It is not. Let's turn it on. Let's remember to do that. Okay. Well, I see no reason to wait. Sup! Oh, hello. There you are.
Hey, Astinian! Ooh, fancy look. Ooh, we're doing the most right now, huh? Damn it. Just a second too late on that. Oh well. Oh, here comes another tank buster. Okay. Well, I still got the benefits of it. <laughs> Whoa. Ow. Oh shit. Okay, we live. Barely. But I live. And there we go. Well done, everyone! <laughs> I get the sense that that, <laughs> if not for some very competent help, <laughs> we could have been in trouble there. Anyway, hey buddy, how you doing? You, uh, you, you, you went all soul edge on me there for a second. Let's, um, let's get you out of that and get you a shower, shall we? Thanks for the help, everyone. I see the problem. Is this to be my end? That's the idea. Nay, I will not allow it. I am of the first brood. I am vengeance incarnate. I am Nidhogg. Thou shalt die by my hand. If only the Warrior this of Light could do something. I would ask one last favor of you, Warrior of Light. Finish me. Now, while I have the beast subdued! Duty. No, 
You can't die like this. I won't let you. Done by mortal will. Will now. He lives. Ah, oh, Estinian, my ill-fated friend. Lucia, summon the healers. I want them ready to receive him. At once, Lord Commander. Allow me to do this much, at least. Well, he can still fly, so that's something. The horde have sensed the fall of their master and scattered to the winds. You have my gratitude, Res Velga. Your deeds this day have saved a great many lives. <clears throat> then our alliance hath served its purpose. Thou didst wield the power I granted thee, well. T'was thine own skill, and not mine eye, which earned thee victory. Do you want it? Do you want it? Do you... Do you want it? Okay. I wish thy companion a swift recovery. Fare ye well, children of man. No, but seriously, do you want it back? I can I can bring it over.
the battle is won. We can do no more for Estinian now than bear him home and wish him well, even as Reisvelka did. The rest we must trust to the hands of the healers and the grace of the gods. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Isail? I know what she found turning up right at that moment. Yeah, that got me. Fuck. Whew. You won't believe what happened. It started raining inside my apartment all of a sudden. Ugh. Got all this water in my eyes. Hard to see the screen. Whew. Through all the haze of pain, I sense, swear, sensed that, uh, but no. The past is done, and we must look to the future. At long last, Nilhog is gone. His foul spirit cast out once and for all. I only pray Estinian survives the ordeal. Oh. <laughs> Your battle with Nilhog's shade will beget many an epic ballad, Brick, and rightly so. It was, without doubt, one of your most more epochal victories. Though I must admit I took great joy in seeing you emerge from the experience unscathed. Well, physically anyway. And not only for your own sake. Had you not been there to aid me, those infernal eyes would still be fused to Estinian's mail. Yet, even with Nilhok gone, I cannot help but wonder how much of our friend remains. Let us pay a visit to Lucia and beg news of his condition. We just sort of keep the eye. Oh, okay. <laughs> the size of the eyes, depending on who held them, did crack me up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the size of the object has to be conformed to the, to the character holding it. Brick, Master Alfino, my honored friends. As if any Reshvelga to our cause were not enough, you took it upon yourselves to rid of his, blo his blood brother. I know not how to thank you. Ah, my own contributions were hard and noteworthy. The true saviors of the day were Brick and Estinian. Yeah, and also like seven other guys who helped me. <laughs> One triumphed over Nidhogg's shade through strength of arms, and the other through strength of will. And speaking of Estinian, what news of his recovery? The Asher Dragoon was conveyed to the infirmary where he now resides under the care of our Hospitalia Captain. I'm told he's yet to regain consciousness. But, as you know, Estinian's mind and body were held hostage for many days. We must be patient and allow the process of healing to begin. In the meantime, you would do well to rest and recover from your own ordeals. But surely... Sir Emmerich is never long from Estinian's bedside, and I will send word the moment there are any developments. Now. If I have satisfied your concerns, I believe Lord Edmund and his sons are most eager to celebrate your return. Uh, very well, First Commander. Yes, send the child to bed. Come, Brick. It would seem we are awaited at Fort Arm Manor. Well, okay, then. Pray call upon Lord Edmund. I gather Fort Arm Manor holds its breath for your return. <laughs> Forbidden jawbreaker get. Thank you, Elisvelga. <laughs> I mean... I mean, shit, I would try and taste it, wouldn't I? I think I fucking would. <laughs> like, because you would want to know. Imagine your tongue getting possessed by Nilhog. Every time you open your mouth, it's like, Vengeance! Or Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> The heroes of the hour return. 
I should hope it's more than an hour. I'd like to be the hero of the next century, please. We but did our duty, my lord. It was the memories of fallen friends and not our heroism which saw us through at the last. Yeah, but still, I do want, like, songs and statues, please. I gave every ons of my strength, but mine efforts would have counted for naught had the Warrior of Light not arrived to challenge the Great Worm. As a sworn knight of Ishgard, I had hoped to do more for my city. Well, we cannot all be heroes, dear brother. Let us put away our pride for a moment and revel in the valiant deeds of our comrade. For your sterling service to Ishgard, we salute you. And while we're on the subject of valiant deeds, I believe I myself have earned some small measure of recognition. Under my watchful hey, command, Manalane, the maybe not now. of the Ward struck down a veritable swarm of Dravanian invaders. My lord's command was certainly watchful. He bravely watched as the siege crews took aim, and continued to watch as countless wyverns met their end. Indeed, the Ward's defenders proved so well drilled that my lord had little occasion to stop watching. Yeah, get his ass on a rock. There will be time enough to determine who is most deserving of recognition later. It's me. Our friends are doubtless weary from their exertions. Yeah, but it's I me though. Chambers prepared an expectation of your return. You are welcome to retire at your leisure. Yes, but songs and statues, please. I am most grateful for your hospitality, my lord. But I believe I shall pay a visit to the Temple Knights Infirmary. Pray excuse me. Our master Alfino has grown. The plight of his stricken brother in arms pains him more than his own hurts. In which respect he has come to resemble you, warrior of light. Go then, visit the Azure Dragoon, and grant him what comfort you may. Oh, wait, let's talk to some NPCs. If my lord's re irrepressible optimism were ever to fix upon something about which he had cause to be optimistic, I dare not think what he might achieve. Yeah, get his ass! Without the guiding hand of yours truly, how and Art's famous dragon killers wouldn't have killed half so many dragons just now, as shall she'll be sure to tell my lady when next we meet. At long last, Nilhog is gone. No true son of Ishgard could wish for more. Yet scores of my brother knights fell in the battle, and I find my joy tempered by their loss. Go, warrior of light. We will not begrudge you time spent at a comrade's sickbed. Estinian is resting in our infirmary. The sickbeds are our front line now, and the battle to save the wounded continues unabated. Break, my friend. What can I do for the savior of Ishgard? You seek Master Alphino. Ah, he came to relieve me of my vigil a short while ago. When he begged to sit at Estinian's side, I could not well refuse him. Though he would sooner faint than admit it, the boy must be exhausted by Reisvelger's trial and all that followed. Estinian is blessed to have such devoted comrades. Just please tell me you finally gave him a bath. <laughs> it's like... My own friendship with Estinian began some ten years past, shortly after we joined the Temple Knights. I learned his name soon enough, but Estinian barely registered my existence. I was less a fellow recruit and more a shadow which occasionally darkened his path. And so it might have remained, had fate not seen fit to intervene. While out on patrol, our company was set upon by a dragon, and we were the only two to survive. The experience forged a bond between us, as such life-threatening situations are wont to do. Despite our friendship, he remained an intense and solitary youth, wholly obsessed with claiming vengeance against Nilhok. 
Revenge was ever at the forefront of his mind. Revenge for the death of his parents, and revenge for his younger brother. I would venture that in Alphina he sees something of his lost sibling. And in the ungentle chidings of Estinian, Alphina has found the elder brother he never had. What am I, chopped liver? <laughs> Truth be told, Estinian's tactless observations have saved me from disaster more than once, and I can well understand Alphina's affection for him. He's a friend for whom I would gladly... Lord Commander, your presence is required in the infirmary. Is he... Tell them I'm on my way. I swear to God, Estinian, if you're trying to get away from having a, having that bath... Quick, Brick, we must get him. Upon proceeding to the infirmary, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Okay. This young mewling boy, it grates my ears. B forgive me. When I saw you awaken, I could not... It was such a relief. We feared you might never wake up. Now, now, Astinian. If Master Alphano thought any less of you, you would still be Nidhogg's plaything. Or dead. I, I, twas but a jest. I thank you, Alphano. And you too, Warrior of Light. Quite how you managed to persuade Hraesvogger to aid in his brood brother's downfall, I cannot imagine. But full glad am I that you did. <clears throat> it is an honor to share the mantle of Azure Dragoon with one such as you. I, for my part, owe you an apology. When last we met, I did willingly loose an arrow at your heart. Can you forgive me? There is naught to forgive, Hamerick. You but acted in defense of Ishgard, as is your duty. Were you any less single-minded about it, I would not follow you into battle, nor trust you at my back. Besides, I had come to the self-same conclusion that I would have to perish for Nidhogg to be stopped. So let us dispense with the hand-wringing. I have heard enough mewling for one day. Good job on the voice actor. The tendrils of Nidhogg's foul presence bound up every fiber of my being, usurping my senses, but I yet retain some trace of awareness. The worm's mind was as a vast and tumultuous sea. Endlessly its black waters churned, his grief and despair at Ratatoska's murder never calming, never receding. Driven by this surging current came wave upon wave of unrelenting rancor. It was the very image of my own heart. There I saw the dark reflection of the hatred I felt after Nidhogg slew my family, when no path remained save vengeance against Dragonkind. Kind. 
neither one of us had a choice. But I was blessed with something Nidhogg was not. Comrades and teachers to console and admonish me. Had I not had them to gainsay my obsession, it would surely have consumed me as Nidhogg's did him, and we would have been in all respects alike. Though his shade is banished, his spirit scattered upon the sea of clouds, I feel no joy at his passing. Where once I craved vengeance, I now crave rest. Lord Commander, my hunt is at an end. I would lay down the mantle of Azure Dragoon. My friend. He has tired himself with too many words. I doubt not that he will make a full recovery, but he must be allowed some few days of quiet. Following the battle with Nidhogg on the Steps of Faith, Sir Emery called an assembly that he might make his final proclamation as acting head of state. T'was there, with one decree, that the thousand-year rule of the archbishops was ended, paving the way for a new republic. Jesus, finally! The governance of Ishgard would now be placed in the hands of high and lowborn alike, their ranks represented by the newly founded House of Lords and House of Commons. Well, okay, we can abolish the House of Lords later, I guess. This is a good Church first step. was separated from state. The foundation for change had been carefully laid, and the reforms proposed by Ishgard's new government passed into law without incident. His duty done, Emmerich de Borel gladly stepped down from the Archbishop's dais, only to be raised unto the highest seat in the House of Lords. Though he strove at first to refuse this honor, the unexpectedly strident voice of the Count de Durandere left him little choice but to accept. Ooh, and the so shadow of the throne, the winds yeah. of gentle revolution came to stir. among the many honored guests at Sir Emmerich's investiture 
were the ambassadors of Dragonkind, a fitting symbol of Ishgard's newfound peace. People looked on in awe as he soared through the heavens on dragon back. And by their cheers did they hail him an azure dragoon for a new age. And he's actually azure, azure too, which is like, hey, he's actually blue. Isn't that cool? Also, where are you going, Estinian? Thus were the notes of the dragon song rewritten. The din of war giving way to a rising litany of peace and hope. From the memories of Count Edmonton de, Edmund de Fortin, Heaven Sword. By the way, let me know when the last appearance of Edmund is in the story. Because I know that his voice actor passed. That's a pretty good final image. Like a bloodied helmet. Sy symbol of war laying discarded. Yeah. That is a pretty good sign. Edmund stays as a regular important character whenever we come back in Ishgard. He shows up later in Dark Knight Quest, for example. Okay. Democracy established. Well, kind of. There's still a House of Lords, which is hereditary, and that is anti-democratic. But, you know. Note that we returned Geshwilger's eye. Yeah, I th yeah, he, he had both of them in the cutscenes, right? But his last voice credit is in The Endwalker. Okay. There's a sort of epilogue quest in the Fort Tom Manor. Yeah, fair enough. But this is the end of 3.3, right? Or three point whatever we were on. Not quite. Oh, we've just finished the 
speak with Emmerich. Yeah. I was gazing out at the sea of clouds in an all too rare moment of idleness when I chanced to behold a certain hero wending his way back towards the city on Dragonback. Welcome home, Brick. Again, I don't live here. <laughs> no, it was no grave matter that moved me to greet you in person. Between you and me, I merely sought respite from the pressures of office. No sooner do I surrender my role as a temporary head of state that I'm burdened with the position of a more permanent responsibility. I fancy that it echoes in some small measure the way you must feel when your improbable feats of heroism are rewarded with still more impossible challenges. The myth which guided our society for generations lies in tatters. Am I then to be scorned for building upon the system of nobility that I once sought to tear down? And what strange jest is this that places me at its pinnacle? An archbishop's bastard at the head of the House of Lords. Yeah, I mean, you could still... You could still tear it down. We, we could still do that. I'll help you. Like, well, I abs like, uh, 100%, we can go right now uh, and just set fire to it. Just set fire to the whole thing and then carry on with democracy as if nothing happened. Ah, but these questions are for me to answer. It is not man's nature to change overnight. This I learned through painful experience, and it was this hard lesson which convinced me to take the path which now we follow. Even as we rebuild the bridge between man and dragon, so too was me we reimagine Ishgard, one carefully placed stone at a time. Ah, yeah, conservatism. Love it. Um, we must remember that it is not for us that we lay this groundwork, but for the men and women that our children will become. May their towers rise proudly from the fundament of our legacy. I hear word from Captain Whitecape that Estinian has vanished from his sick room. His willfulness survives undiminished. Should you ever happen upon our unmanly friend in your travels, pray assure him that I shall keep Ishgard safe until he deigns to come home. Thank you, Brick. And please convey my warmest regards to Master Alfino. You saved the day again, Brick. Not that I ever doubted that you would. You spoke with Zamrick. I do not envy him his new position. Ishgard has chosen a new road, but one littered with the detritus of a thousand years of broken faith. Yet, though her people may stumble from time to time, I know of none better than Sir Emmerich to lead the march of progress. I don't know, an elected official? I'm just spitballing here. Could be good also. As for us, there remains the small matter of ushering in a new dawn in the shadow of inscrutable ashen machinations and a seemingly endless procession of primals. But we too must walk our chosen path, no matter how treacherous the footing. Hey! <laughs> ah, the house for Tom Coat. A wind up, Emmerich. And the Dragon Song Orchestrion roll. Aw, oh, nice. Pleased to have that. In the wake of Ishgard's governmental reform, new airship routes have been sanctioned. You may now travel to a selection of distant locales from the landing in Ishgar. Oh, hey, it's the dipshits. Oh god, are they going to try and retrieve the eyes? Oh no. <laughs> Meanwhile, a John Final Fantasy's Mean Girl Squad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Blairs. Nah, you need to re not remain there. We shall rendezvous at the usual place. 
all is proceeding as expected, then. Ah, there's not to concern us, aside from one overly curious mouse. Ah, uh, Thancret, did you go and get yourself captured? Oh, no, it's an entirely different person will... Ah, good boy, Thancret. <laughs> This way! Alice needs her new outfit, too. Him again. It is of no moment. They will play their part, and we will play ours. I don't remember what the hell Elidibus' voice sounds like. I mean, he really is, like the warrior of darkness there, he really is. And thus did gray mists give way to azure skies. Man and dragoon rise above, voices joined in song. But beneath shrouded boughs beyond the scope of light, shadows stirs. He really is, like, he really is like the default Fortnite skin of character designs. Like, he really is just about as basic as it is humanly possible to be. Hey! <laughs> Thanks for the celebration. And with that, I do think that uh, this will have to be the end of the stream for the day. I went on for six hours, too, so that's pretty good. I think that'll be the end of the stream. So, uh, if you've been watching on YouTube, as ever, I'm going to have to tell you that you're going to have to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I'll remember to raid someone, don't you worry. You have to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. You will have to head on over to Twitch and subscribe if you want to see the VODs of the streams, or just come along to the Twitch to watch these things get recorded live. It's generally a pretty darn good time. Uh, and outside of that, thanks for watching. Remember to be kind. Jesus, that was a big one. Remember to be kind to one another. Have solidarity with those who are worse off than yourselves, and may the tides of history wash gently over us all. <laughs>